Today we're going to tell you more about types of engagement rings. Why my dream ring is my dream ring. Even if your love is super strong, but you look at the ring that irritates you on a daily basis, I don't think your love will last. If size matters to you like it matters to me, don't. Hi everyone, I'm Martina and I'm Zarina and we're sisters. We run businesses in different countries and in different ways. We come from a dynasty of jewelry makers. And today we are going to talk about the most important piece of jewelry for every girl. Nose piercing. The engagement ring. Personally, I don't find it to be the most important jewelry piece for a girl. First of all, you have to wait for a guy to offer it to you. You can't be bothered. But it's quite a special piece still. Well, you might not think that, but the rest of us girls do. So let's walk you through the most fabulous engagement rings of the celebrities. The queen of engagement rings is Jennifer Lopez. This woman has been proposed to five times and I actually calculated the total worth of all her engagement rings is over $20 million. Our mom actually has a saying. Do you know it? Yeah. <laughs> Only a lazy woman gets married once. Definitely Jennifer Lopez is not lazy. But to be honest, if I had 20 million worth in engagement rings... You wouldn't say yes from the first time? No. Think about it. It's a strategy. But also a queen of engagement rings is Victoria Beckham. I think she has like around 30 engagement rings because she gets reminded of, her, of the love from her husband yearly. Because us girls, our memory is very short and you have to remind us that you love us with engagement rings with diamonds or other precious stones. Thank you. <laughs> so David Beckham actually offers, I mean, he didn't tell me that personally, but rumor has it that David Beckham offers Victoria an engagement ring every single year. Good for him. I think that's the secret of their very strong and inspiring relationship. And good for our jewelry industry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> Kourtney Kardashian got engaged and married for the first time and that's a huge deal for her even for though us. and for us even though um, she always said that less is more and her style is pretty minimalistic which we can't say from my older sister uh, she still got a ring a clear oval cut diamond but still 12 carat diamond and the estimates of the price of the whole ring is million dollars. Just a million? Yeah, casual. I mean, they could do more, but you know, you do you. <laughs> well, Kim's was like, you remember when she got proposed to at the stadium? Yeah. That huge, that's, that's what I want. Yes, as my sister is the modest one, the ring actually has a cushion cut, I think, for the Kim Kardashian's ring. The one that Kanye offered her, that's important, because she got engaged twice. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the, she has the popular marriage that lasted 72 days with a um, basketball player. Oh, did she? Yeah, and they had the most huge wedding that you could imagine, and then they would break up in three months. That was funny. Anyways, Kim Kardashian, on the other hand, got proposed by Kanye West with a diamond of a cushion cut and the estimated value is two million. That's actually one of the advantages of having sisters and one of the key ways to getting the ring of your dreams. Tell all your sisters, your mom, your friends about your dream ring so that in case your boyfriend actually decides to pop the question, he has the correct information. And it's really important because even if your love is super strong, but you look at the ring that irritates you on a daily basis, I don't think your love will last. So make sure you inform your close circle about your wish list, about your size, and just wait for the right moment. You do know which one I want. I do, yes. Just so you know, whoever is watching this video on YouTube, 
<laughs> I have all the information on Martina, so hit me up. So in our first video, I spoke a little about my dream ring. And if you haven't watched our first video, please follow the link below. And today I'm going to tell you why my dream ring is my dream ring. So number one, it has to be a round cut. I changed my mind. It has to be a round cut now because the round actually is the one that looks the biggest in your, in your eye. So a five carat round diamond will always look bigger than a five carat diamond of any other cut. So if size matters to you, like it matters to me, don't choose the round cut. And on the sides, I want tapered baguettes. I do not want any kind of little stones around because when you have a big stone, like I want, I want a minimum of five carat cut. I repeat, a minimum of five carat. It is called a super size stone. So it's a big stone. And if you put little stones around, like a halo um, setting or stones on the shank of the ring, it makes it look quite evening, quite dressy. And I want to wear my ring every day, obviously. So, are you taking I'm noting, yeah. Round, five carat, tapered baguettes on the sides, and I'm happy. Do you know whose ring was the most expensive ring in the world if you index it to the inflation of today? I know you told me, to tell them. <laughs> Grace Kelly has the most expensive ring till today. It was offered by the Prince of Monaco. And it's also like I want, maybe she copied me, a tapered top baguettes on the sides and a huge emerald cut in the middle. We actually have one model of a ring at Natkina that is pretty simple. So if you wanna feel like Grace Kelly, you can. This is a similar ring. It has an emerald cut at the center and on the sides we have cute heart cuts. Hers, it has baguette cuts on the side, I think. Tapered baguettes. Voila. If you like it, then it should have put a ring on it. I want this one, I want this one. This one specifically? Yeah. This is exactly what I want. That's nice. By the way, quick commercial. Just so you know, we can offer you any bespoken engagement ring that you want. We offer custom-made jewelry, so... It actually started with my friends who wanted to ask their girlfriends to marry them who asked me, can you make the ring? Can you source me the best stone? And we started providing that as a service because our family has had the connections directly to the diamond mines since such a long time. We can source any stone, any cut for any budget. The second most expensive ring in the world was offered to Jackie Onassis, previously Jackie Kennedy. After five years of the tragic assassination of JFK, Jacqueline remarried again to a Greek shipping mogul, Aristotle Onassis, who is actually one of the most famous and richest men today. He popped the question with a 40 carat, 40 carat Harry Winston Marquis cut ring. It was huge and obviously very beautiful. But surprisingly, Jackie only wore it twice in her life, on their wedding day and on some other day. And the rest of the time it was kept in the bank. Isn't that Shame. so sad? When you have a ring like this, you should wear it every day. <laughs> and considering the fact that she could hire a lot of security, I would do that. I would wear it all, all day, every day, honestly. Until she passed away, it was kept in the bank and then was resold in 1990s at the Sotheby's auction when a lot of her belongings were, were sold at the auction. Next up, Megan Fox. Megan Fox has a beautiful ring that combines two stones. This is actually a technique where you call the stones that are kissing. Both of them are pier cut. One is emerald and one is a diamond. And the spicy, weird detail about it is actually when you take off the ring, it's painful. It's the idea that the husband made so that she would never want to take it off. Because he said love is pain. You must never take your engagement ring off. Another very famous ring is obviously Lady D's 
blue sapphire ring, which is now worn by Kate Middleton. They say that when Lady D passed away, her sons each could choose one piece of jewelry that belonged to her. Yeah, actually the younger brother chose that ring, but then the older one proposed first and asked the brother to take the ring and he, he gave it to him. Oh, yes, really? yes. I would also give you anything. It's like, you know, the thing about sisters, I can give her my liver, but do not touch my clothes. <laughs> Right? <laughs> the same thing, right? Yeah, All totally the time. True. And if before I would be the one who would always steal her stuff, now she kind of likes my style too. But like, it's, it's a sister thing. Before I would call Zarina and I would be like, I don't know where you are, but I definitely know what you're wearing. My clothes. <laughs> but the interesting fact about uh, Diana's ring is when Charles decided to propose to Diana, he actually invited a jeweler who brought all kinds of rings and all kinds of jewelry so that she could decide and choose herself what she wants. And even though they were more expensive and more fancy pieces, she chose that specific piece. And we all know that her favorite stone is sapphire. Actually, it's quite on trend right now for women to get involved into the decision of what their rings are. Emrata, what's her name? Emily Rotakovsky. She actually designed her own ring. I just wanted to mention that what's also special is when the central stone, it's not a pure diamond, but it also can be a ruby, emerald, sapphire, sometimes tanzanite or other stone. And there's no strict rule on what an engagement ring should be. So if your favorite color is red, for example, and you love passionate rubies, a ruby stone can be your engagement stone. That's not an issue. And as our celebrities show, there are no limits. But do you know why diamonds are actually the most primary historical stones for engagement rings? Diamond actually is the hardest stone out of all precious stones. So you cannot cut um, a diamond with anything else except another diamond if you want to change its shape. But it's, diamond is much harder than any other precious stone like ruby, emerald, etc. So to show that love is very strong and time resistant, men would always offer women diamonds as these are the most durable stones. So coming back to Emrata's ring, which I love, she actually designed her own ring, which is amazing, I think. It's a two stone ring. One is a pear shape and the other one is emerald, close together, which is a living proof of the fact that women should be involved in the process of choosing their engagement rings. That's true. Next up, we have Ariana Grande. She was offered a ring and rumor has it that the ring with which she got engaged involved a pearl from her grandmother's ring that she was very emotionally attached to. The ring has a pearl and an oval cut diamond. The pearl in Ariana Grande's ring makes it so feminine and delicate and quite petite because a pearl is just such a feminine stone. I think the most important thing about choosing your engagement ring or suggesting an engagement ring is that it must fit your personal style. Like, for example, our next favorite girl, Lily Collins, is another example where a ring perfectly suits the wearer. It is so cute with its rose cut, and I think it's just so everybody in Paris. It is a basal set, which is quite unusual for an engagement ring because it means it has metal all around the stone, but they say it's more secure than a typical prong setting. Today we're going to tell you more about types of engagement rings, so make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and if you have any questions at all, make sure to write them in the comments. Lady Gaga was a bride for three times, but never became a wife because she would love to accept the rings, but not really the whole marriage. Thing. I totally <laughs> dig that. <laughs> and we can understand my favorite ring out of the three is her heart-shaped engagement ring. We prepared a couple of examples for you to show how even a single heart shape 
stone can be interpreted and combined with different stones and different styles. Come closer to see. Here are four options. Each of them has a heart-shaped stone at the center. However, this one has tapered baguettes on the side. This one has pear-shaped stones. This is a solitaire where all the attention goes to one central stone. And finally, the one with a halo. Our last celebrity ring today is Miranda Kerr. Miranda actually married the youngest self-made billionaire, the founder of Snapchat. But by celebrity standards, her ring was quite affordable, only $50,000, which means that you don't have to only care about the size. And if your style is quite discreet and minimalistic, take a smaller stone. There is nothing wrong in that. I mean, unless you're Zarina. And... Round cut. As we mentioned earlier, the dream cut for Martina, but with... Uh, uh... <laughs> with baguettes on the side. It's timeless and it's classic, and if you want it, you're not wrong. There are different interpretations. There can be a solitaire or other stones on the side. All of them have round shape. This one has a dominant two carat stone in the center, other round shaped stones on the sides. Then this one is on Martina's wish list, round shaped at the center and tapered baguettes on the side or a band like this where there are stones all the way around and it can also be a promise ring, for example, and you can wear it on a chain because there are stones all the way around and it can also be worn as a pendant. And also we can call it a great investment because this is a stone that is always requested, always it's in demand. So in case your love goes wrong, you can always sell it. One thing I really want to get your opinion on is what do you do if you got engaged, you got a ring, and then your engagement falls apart? Do you keep the ring or do you have to give it back? I had this argument with a lot of my <laughs> friends and I'd love to know what you think is the right thing to do. We're not gonna tell what are our opinions about it, so. I think it's no. pretty clear. <laughs> so would you keep the ring or would you give it back? Or would you sell it? Or would you keep it? Like if or would you buy it back? Because there's also that option. Next up, we have cushion cut. Cushion cut can be square shaped or it can be elongated. A thing to know about it is by combining central stones with additional ones on the side, you can make your stones look much bigger than they are. What's also interesting is the combination of different color metals. For example, the ring itself, it's in white gold, but the settings are yellow. Mm. This allows you to combine your jewelry of white and yellow metal. And also what's very special is if you choose a fancy yellow diamond, yellow setting is a must because it's going to enhance the color and make it even more yeah. yellowish. <laughs> and because for fancy colors, the color is the more most precious thing about it, so you want to enhance it. If you like vintage style jewelry, choose a Marquise cut. It is in the shape of a leaf and it has a cool tendency to make your finger look longer thanks to its special shape. Why is it called a Marquise cut? Do you know why <laughs> it's called a Marquise cut? If you do, please let us know in comments. Just like other cuts, Marquise can also be in the shape of a solitaire or as a halo or with stones around. I quite like the way it's paired with tapered baguettes. And to be honest, Marquise cut also really shows the fancy color stones very well. So in case you like colorful stones, consider Marquise cut also. Also, what's important, what Martina mentioned, is any stone or any shape of a ring that goes on the line of your fingers, so it doesn't go like, doesn't cross them, but elongates them, it makes your fingers look longer. So if you have short fingers like I do. And I do. That's the one for you. <laughs> Last but not least, pear shape. It also elongates your finger and there's no right way how to put it. For the drop to be on top or on the bottom, it only depends on your preferences. And there are also simple designs, more detailed. You just have to choose which one you like more. And here we have an example with an imitation of pink diamond, which is considered also to be very 
pricey but an incredible investment and these stones are very in demand because they're super rare and beautiful and if you have any other topics you would like us to discuss let us know we'd love to tell you more and if you have any other interesting facts about diamonds that we didn't mention please don't hesitate to leave them in comments we love to read and find out about diamonds so any feedback is welcome Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you for staying with us. Make sure you subscribe, etc., etc. And see you later. Next week. Bye.